Welcome to the SABC Digital News Tech Wrap. In this week's wrap, we look at some innovative job hunting apps, find out why South Africans can't get enough of news websites, and the phenomenal success of the Ice Bucket Challenge. A new mobile micro-jobbing service is set to give businesses, NGOs and government a way to crowdsource information and interact directly with the public. The Money for Jam or M4 Jam app available on WeChat enables South Africans to earn extra cash by completing small jobs in their vicinity by using a smartphone. Another new app aimed at job seekers, specifically school and university graduates, is ImpressMe. ImpressMe is a mobile application that changes one smart device into a recruitment platform. Job hunters can download the app and apply for positions by taking a 60 second video selfie and uploading it online to prospective employers. Recent research by online audience measurement company Effective Measure reveals that most South Africans spend their time on news websites when online. The findings are illustrated in an online map indicating popular internet venues. SABC Digital News Production Editor Christelle Dutoy unpacks the stats and what they mean in an interview on SABC's network. I think we have to look at the demographics of what effective measure measured. We know that young people are on social media, that they are online, but when it comes to news, your biggest chunk of audience is between the ages of 30 and 60, and those are the audiences that are more interested in news. So I think the challenge for a news organization, including the SABC, is to tailor news in such a way that young people are also interested. Um, it's a combination of doing more entertainment news, more sexy news, but also making your politics news, your hard news, news more interesting, incorporate social media, incorporate video, uh, make it more engaging. As of Sunday, the Ice Bucket Challenge has reached the $70 million mark in donations. Since the campaign went viral in August, social media outlets have been crowded with videos of people dumping ice on their heads after delivering a short message explaining their support for the research and treatment of ALS. South African celebrities have also taken up the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, joining a list of famous international personalities that include Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and Microsoft's Bill Gates. Despite the Ice Bucket Challenge's success, it has raised questions over similar social media campaigns and what they have managed to achieve. So it raised awareness. But does it actually aid in facilitating the eradication of that particular disease or disorder or, or whatever it is the campaign is to bring to light? More technology stories are available on the SABC News website. Join us again next week for another Tech Wrap.